To start printing with the MakerBot sketch, you'll first need to download the MakerBot print software. Go to the MakerBot website, click on software, and from here you should be able to find the MakerBot print and cloud print software. Clicking this button to use the software will take you to a login page where you can either create an account with MakerBot or sign into a current one. Once you sign in, follow the process for installing MakerBot Print onto your computer, and then you're good to go to use it. Once you have it installed and you have it running on your computer, you can open up MakerBot Print to look like this. This square in the middle here is representing the build plate and its dimensions. Along the side, you have these links to things like MakerBot.com, Thingiverse, the store, and learning and support options. One way to start a new project is to click this button up here. You can add models and files in this way. You can also drag and drop them into the actual build plate itself from your desktop if you want. Over on the other side are buttons to change the view that you're seeing, as well as ways to see estimates for the amount of PLA and the time it's going to take something to print. You'll also find things for the print settings, as well as ways to adjust the position, the orientation, and the scale of the model that you're working on. Down at the bottom here is how you add printers. Right now, a sketch is added to mine as export only, meaning that I use a flash drive to transfer the file once it's been exported to the printer. There are a couple different ways to add printers. You can do it via the network if it's connected to the network, or you can find the IP address under the settings on the printer itself and type it in here, or you can add an unconnected one, which means that you're using a USB. You simply select the model, and that will adjust the build plate within the software to match which you're printing on. Another way that you can start a new project is to go up to the top and click insert file here. I'm going to be looking for an STL file. I have a whole folder where I keep them. I'm going to select one of these files to insert into the build plate so that I can work on it. Now that I have my model on the build plate here, I can change the view by clicking and dragging. I can also click the model and move it around that way. You can pick its position on the build plate that way. Or you can go over here and you can arrange the model. And by clicking these or typing in a number, you'll change its position by a cer certain increment on the build plate. You can see the axes down here at the bottom that kind of tell you which one you're working on. The z-axis actually moves it up and down off of the build plate, but you want to make sure that a surface is touching the build plate to make sure that it prints properly. And clicking centering the model will bring it back to the middle of the build plate. The next option down is the orientation setting. And from here, you can kind of flip the model around. I'm clicking the plus or minus 90 degree buttons, but you can do them in smaller or larger increments if you want. And on the x-axis, it's going to flip it onto its side, and y is going to do something similar, just in the other direction. And changing anything on the z-axis is going to spin it around like that. You can click Reset to bring it back to its original position. Now changing the scale is going to change the overall size of the model. You can change it via percentage. So you can see here I'll type in 150% and that's going to make it significantly larger. Or you can do it via millimeters as well. Resetting it will bring it back to its original size and scale to max is going to make it fill the largest that it can on the build plate. So back up here at the gear is the print settings, where you can change things to affect how the device is actually going to print. These are default print modes that MakerBot has that you can choose from. The first one being balanced, it is the one that is fast but also good quality for prints. You can also see draft and mini fill there. You can also design custom print modes. This is one I've created that I've labeled thick. 
and to create this I went through and just changed a couple things to make a print a bit more dense and a bit more thick. Specifically the infill density. Infill density refers to the amount of material that prints inside of a device, and the higher the percentage, the more material is going to be inside. The number of shells can also be changed. These print around the infill to create the general shape of it. And if you select higher density and more shells, it's going to take a lot longer to print. You can also select any support types here. I don't need any for this particular model, but if you have anything hanging off of your print, you're going to want some sort of support. Within the quick settings, you can pick different base layers. I have decided to put a raft on this one to make it a little easier to get off the build plate. A raft is something that prints right underneath the model as like a base layer. And then there are several other more complex settings that you can go through, like the printer, the extruder, any roofs that you could possibly need. This is more complex information about the shells that print around that infill. And you can get very specific with these, like the height of the layers and things like that. Another thing with infill density is that you can also pick a specific pattern that it's going to print in. There are many different ones to choose from. You can also look at different flooring settings. This is again the supports and any bridging you could possibly need. Generally those are if you have something hanging off or that could potentially be kind of free floating. And then the base layer, again, refers to things like the raft and any other bases you could possibly want to put on the print itself. So go to this little clock button here and that's going to prepare the estimates and the preview of the model. Once it's loaded, it's going to show you all the different layers. You can go over to the side here and see which layer you're on. It's going to show you approximately how much PLA you're probably going to need and approximately how much time it's going to take to print. This scroll here will take you layer by layer for how the model is actually going to print on the printer. Once you're satisfied with the position, the size, the orientation, and all of the settings that you have for your model and for the actual print, you'll go down here and click export. I suggest naming your file something that is easy to identify so you know what you're actually moving onto your flash drive. Choose where you want it to save to and then click save. This will export the file to your computer and it is now ready to print.